guys. You know I'm right here, so I was realizing I'm bad to some. Sorry about that. Alright. It's a long day and on the base. I mean, I need this. Right now I'm in my uh, house in the south of uh, Israel. Negev. Then we got a pipe. Very, very clay esque. Very, very nice. Alright. Probably one of my favorites. Alright, so. This is also, I, I mean, I'm kind of slow on the uptake, so. This is a response to. Hi friend CHS's uh, video on uh, tea smoking. In my pipe I have right now what I call my darling uh, morning pipe. It's basically what it is. It's darlijing cased with a lemongrass and bourbon vanilla. Mm. I tried uploading another video from my other camera but that just didn't work. I don't smoke in my house. Sorry. But you still get like flavor even if you start puffing on it. It's pipey if you puff super hard though. Could also just be the pipe that I'm using, but hey, it's up to interpretation. Alright, so. Smells very good. Sorry. Um, yeah, so it can kind of smoke wet. Since it doesn't have all those humectants that some of the other lower grade pipe tobaccos have, it's hard to keep the it's constant war of tamping and stuff. You know, when puffing on it, not only just not to tamp, otherwise the flavor's just gonna go away. So, yeah. I mean, you don't get any flaws from it. It's not like smoking a 1792, the uh, flake from Samuel and Gallo, or whatever it's called. Or like smoking a cigarette. I mean, I don't inhale cigarettes, but I mean, they have very nice, especially the Turkish cigarettes that you get out the uh, airport in Israel, in uh, Jerusalem. They're good. Especially the pipes there. They're cheap. I'm not buying any of them yet, though. I need some point and money. Now, if you want, if you do like the filling up the nose, there's this very earthy, almost spicy smell and taste that like shows itself. Very interesting. I enjoy it. I mean, it's great, but there's something I have to understand. You have to puff slowly. Very, very, very slowly. Whatever, it's gonna be dark here. I don't care if dark is gonna be. So, guys, no track, just a pipe. Almost the equivalent of a uh, clay. So, just a shitload cheaper and handmade. So that's also like coming to pipe on CHS. And I've been getting questions about how I started smoking. So at first being these really that I was. I was interested in the Nargilla. And mm, it was okay. So I was searching on the internet for videos. On like how to load like a shisha bowl. And somehow, um, 
from the virtual smoking lab channel. Now, Lapsa turned out a nice great guy. Nice guy to talk to. He has video. He had videos. Sadly, he had something with his family. I don't remember what. He had videos from here to God knows where. It was perfect. It was him, double the dam. Alex, I forgot your tag. I'll look for it. Um. Or whatever you want to go by hand, me and Hambo. And, I mean, yeah, so then I was like, I approached my parents about it. They didn't even know I was interested in the Nargila, so uh, I approached my parents about it. I'm like, hey, mom, dad, have, have you ever, like, smoked a pipe before? And then they go, well, yes, I kind of would. You want to smoke a pipe? Would be droggy, whatever, whatever, whatever. They overreacted, I mean, but... Now that I am a little bit more independent, I tend to try to smoke rather than discovering. So we just have that. Um, so yeah, so um, I think I might change my YouTube handle also. I want to be a Mangai for smoker. So, yeah, and then I just did some research, tobaccoreviews.com, great website. If you want to, like, really, like, learn how to do stuff, you should go there. And I also got a couple of requests from some of my friends back in Israel to do uh, pipe smoking videos in Hebrew. That's going to be fun. All right, guys. Yeah, as you can tell, I have an American accent. I made Aliyah to Israel, or I emigrated to Israel about two years ago. And Israel doesn't have any tobacco laws. Great. Oh, they have tobacco advertising laws. Which is an upside. So, I, I know people who've been smoking cigarettes since they're like, fifth grade or something it, it's awesome I mean you can get any better than that Except cigarettes are kind of gross unless you smoke the hour pants the hour pants are good you can get that oriental Virginia Bur burly and they they do it well so it's not like disgusting mass-produced um, Marlboro Reds or whatever but then I and then the pipe is just more complicated like the blunt, you know, dar darling pipe, darling morning pipe that I'm smoking right now. It's tasty. It's complex. I don't know how to explain it. It's almost sweet, spicy, it's harsh, it's smooth. It's all sorts of things. So it's, it's a mix of everyday life. Everyday life. I could call it daily smoke, but it is my daily smoke. Considering that I don't have any more tobacco, and next time I get paid it is in a couple of months, so I'll be sticking to dollar chain. So, yet again, you do, I'll split it up into parts. Take lemongrass, cut it up, dry it out with um, shiba. I don't know what you call it in English, the Arabic word. You, you dry it out with shiba, and you leave that to ferment for a couple of months in an outburst, and just like this. Or any metal tin you got. Yeah, there's that reference too. Alright. And then... Then... Alright. Then you take... About... Just fill up an outburst in... Or like 50 grams, 60 grams of... Um, Darlijang loose leaf tea. You wet that, let that sit overnight. Also, but you want to like mix it around. So you, you wet that, mix that, whatever. And then, after that, you add vanilla as the casing. And you mix the, um, the, um, lemongrass in. So, I gotta go, because I'm running really short on time. Alright. Peace out, shalom, salam, you know, the whole thing.